Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we are going to model a roof like like this one. Okay, so um, let's start. So it will be something like this. It's a, a sloped glazing, so you can create a, a a roof by footprint. You can add defined slope, for example, five degree. And oops, yep. it will be like this. Okay, so let's start. First, uh, let's create a. Uh, we need to create a generic model. Generic model. So in floor plan, we need to create a, some reference plan. So one, two, three, and four. Dimension di equal dimension equal dimension and the dimension. So this will be the the height of the roof. So the profile will be something like this, a V shape. Okay. So this will be the height. Let's uh, create a parameter. So it's called h instance parameter. So okay. And this will be the width, let's call it W, OK, and OK. So now um, let's, let's, let's create the, the profile. OK, so I'll create an extrusion. So go create extrusion. And I'll just create a very simple V shape. OK, so um, the actual product, uh, uh, it's more complicated. Okay, it looks like a W shape, but so for uh, for this exercise, I'll just create this shape, so V, and also we need a uh, we need thickness. Okay, so I'll, I'll just offset OF and maybe five mil should be all right. So click and click, and then I'll just pick this reference plan as well, this one and trim tr and here trim as well so trim trim so now this is the v shape shape so this is one of those panels so finish let's have a test so all good so you will see we we actually we didn't add any constraint to this profile but because it's the shape is very simple uh it will always uh uh, really understand that uh, they, sh they, they, they should follow this reference plan. So it's all good. Okay, so now let's uh, load this. We need to load this. Uh, actually, before that, I want to add a material pro parameter as well. So select this extrusion and create a material parameter. Oops, sorry. <laughs> And let's use type and OK and OK. So now we can create another family. So this time it will be a curtain wall panel. Here, curtain wall panel and OK, open. So still in the floor plan. So we need to load that generic model into here. So let's go back to this generic model load into this curtain uh, curtain wall panels just place it somewhere in the middle okay so click select this cut uh, generic model you will see all these handles because uh, they are all a parameter uh, instance parameter so we can drag them onto the reference plan so this one's right so this is left okay so drag this onto the left reference plan and the lock so now we don't have these uh, these two reference plans so we need to create so one and two and do a dimension one two three equal and another dimension so this will be the the height of this panel let's create a height uh, but this time let's use type parameter and okay so now let's select this generic model, drag this onto the reference plan, lock, drag this down onto the reference plan as well, lock. So now 
we need to go to uh, go to the elevation. So actually, I, I think I forgot to add a height or the length parameter in the general model. So let's go edit this family and go to, so for example, uh, front view. So you will see we don't have any uh, height, any reference plans for the height. So let's create one. So reference plan RP, DI dimension. So tab select the reference plan and this. So now this will be the height. So let's create a height instance parameter. Or oh, hang on. Uh, shouldn't be height. We already have height. This will be the length of the panel. So I'll just use, well, we we'll use L instance parameter and OK. So select this, drag this up and lock. OK. So um, for this should be fine. I will we'll just leave it for now. So um, now we can load this into the curtain wall panel and now we can go to any of these uh, elevations so for example interior so uh, if you select this general model because we have this uh, instance parameter uh, length you can drag this onto this reference uh, plan and lock so now we can uh, i think it's all good so we go back to floor plan. So we have this, the width. So this is the width. This is the height of the panel. And also if I go to elevation, so this will be the length. Oh, sorry. Yes, this will be the length of, so you will see this is a default um, reference plan top. And also there will be a reference plan here. So this is always on the reference level. So all good. This um, now we can. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, maybe we need to link create and uh, link this associate family parameter. So we can control this in the project. So let's just create another material parameter type. Okay, okay, and okay. Okay, so now we can go to create a project architecture okay and then go back to the curtain wall panel load this into the project okay so in the project so let's go to side plan and let's create a roof um yeah that's okay so go go to this uh menu and then pick this sloped glazing and then let's create a just a very simple shape and uncheck the uh, defined slope of these three and maybe we'll change that let me just change this to 10 degree for example and i'll finish it so now let's go to 3d view so you will see this is only one single piece of a uh, system panel if you tab select it so what we need to do is we need to go edit type of this sloped glazing. So maybe we can duplicate. If you want to keep this type, you can duplicate. Uh, let, let, let's call it a new, new uh, metal roof. Okay. So, okay. So we just we don't need any emollient for this uh, um, roof. So we only need this. So curtain panel. Select the one we just uh, did. We just load it into this project so click OK so you will see it becomes one single piece and um, oh, actually it looks like it's on opposite direction ah oh, interesting um, maybe we need to flip it so let's go Let's go back. So select select this curtain wall panel, edit family, and go set go to floor plans and let's have a look. So maybe we instead of this shape we need to uh, um, rotate it. So we need to go to edit family and go to floor plan. 
So maybe we can just uh, mirror it. Okay, so edit execution, I'll select all these uh, sketch MM, uncheck the copy, and mirror it. So um, it should still um, constrain to the reference plan. Yep, all good. All good. So now we can load this back. So first, load this back into the curtain wall panel. Override, and then load this curtain wall panel into the project. And override. Yep. So now it's a V shape instead of a, a upside down V shape. Okay, so now we can select this uh, sloped glazing edit type. So we can add grids. So for example, I'll just add some uh, fixed distance. Um, I'm not sure the um, the actual actual. I'm not sure the actual width of the panel. So let's say uh, 600 and. Uh, the length of the panel, uh, I'm not sure. So um, maybe three meter. Oh, sorry, fixed distance. Let's try. So maybe 27. Okay, so apply. Okay, so okay, so it looks like it's to the height of this panel's not right. So tab select one of the panel, edit type. So here we can change the. Uh, the height. So, for example, 450. Yeah, I think that's better. So, that's it. Um, so, yeah, there will be some uh, because I think uh, it's because of the overall width. It's uh, there's some extra. So maybe we can. Oh, hell, what's the what's the panel width? 600. So maybe we we can just edit full print instead of seven instead of 73 make it 72 so this will uh, get rid of the actual one so yeah that's it so and you of course you can change the the pitch if you want to you can uh, you can change the size and it will automatically uh, create the right number of the panels so um, yeah let's try and also I think this because it's a curtain uh, curtain panel it doesn't matter curtain wall or roof so you can also use them in a curtain wall I think so let's try so WA let's try let's start from this one Okay, so I'm going to edit type, duplicate, or just a uh, new uh, metal wall. Okay, and then so what we need to do is change this panel to that family seven, and um, all good, all good, grid, vertical. So let's try if I fixed distance. Uh, vertical maybe um, 27 okay so and a horizontal grid uh, maybe um, fixed distance uh, 600 and okay and ooh, looks like uh, oh hell looks like uh, we need to switch this one so horizontal need to be uh, horizontal is that right 27 so if I change this to 27 change this to 600 yeah okay so yeah that's that's it um, can we change the angle that I'm not sure it looks like it can be vertical can only be vertical but I'm not sure if we can do it uh, so make rotate this by 90 degree can we do that not sure can we, let me change this 90 degree no 
we can't do that. So anyway, so this is um, this is it. So this is the curtain wall with this panel. So okay, and if you increase the size, and this is a roof, and also I believe you can. Um, Oh, hang on. I think we can do we can do horizontal one by using this. So let's try. So uh, go. Let's go to ground floor. I'm going to just draw a reference uh, reference plan, and then I'm going to use um, roof by extrusion. Okay. So and then pick a plan. I'm going to pick this reference plan and go to maybe south elevation and okay i'm going to draw something different so for example this let's try if, if i can do this okay so finish so this is a roof by extrusion and i'll see if i can change this to this metal roof ah okay uh, the direction, yeah. Uh, can we change the direction of? So let's see. If I click this one, uh, looks like we can't. We can't change the direction by just by ninety degrees. Um, maybe I'll leave this to you. So can you? Can you rotate this grid? Let me try another one. So if I edit profile, um, hang on. let me just copy this one, copy this one to here and edit profile. If I do uh, arc, finish. Okay, so looks like yeah. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why this one, the direction of uh, the, the the direction of the panels on this roof is is this this and but on this one's ninety degrees different. So um, I don't know. So how about we? There's nothing we can change. Anyway, I think that I'll stop here. Um, this is this can be useful if you need to um, if you need to roughly get the idea of how many panels you need or. And also can be useful if you want to do some render of your your um, your roof. So if you figure out how to rotate this, please let me know. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.